Good morning students. My name is Shani from GK Jain School. Today we are going to see third standard science unit 1. Yesterday we have seen about the cleanliness. In that we have seen washing our hands, how to take bath and using a toilet. So why we have to wash our hands? If you are going out for playing and when you are coming inside there will be more germs present in your hands and in your legs so before go after coming from outside you have to wash your hands with the hand wash so that the germs present in your hands will be killed then the next is bathing why you have to bath daily so there will be more germs present in your body so by taking bath, by, by using the soap, all the germs will be killed. So, it makes your body even fresh, fresh and the blood circulation will be improved. So, we have to take bath daily. Then, using toilet. Why you have to use toilet? In order to get rid of some diseases like cholera or diarrhea so you have to use toilet before using a toilet first you have to pour enough water then use the toilet once you have done your toilet again you have to pour water then you have to wash your legs then you have to wipe it with a floor mat wipe your leg with a floor mat then you have to cup wash your hand immediately with a hand wash then you have to clean with a towel so when you are using the toilet it is necessary for you to wash your hand after going for a toilet today we are going to see about the importance of our sense organs or how we are going to protect our sense organs We're going to see about protecting sense organs. So, what are the sense organs? The sense organs help us to observe and understand the world around us. So, it helps us to observe and understand the world around us. So, what are the sense organs? Eyes, ears, nose, tongue, and skin. So, what is the eye help us? If the eye help us to give us sight, through eyes we can see. Through the ears we can hear. It helps us for hearing. Nose help us to smell. Tongue help us to taste. The skill help us to touch. You can see example. Here it is. Tongue, eyes. Ears, nose and hand. So these are the organs, sense organs. So first we are going to see. going to see about the eyes. It helps us for see. Help us to see. There is sight. So what are the don'ts and do's? You are going to see here. First. We will see the do's. So we have to read with proper light. So when you are reading, have to use a proper light for reading. Then watch television from a minimum distance of 6 feet. So when you are watching your TV, television, you have to maintain a distance of 6 feet. If you feel your eyes are itching, wash them with clean and cold water. So if you feel your eyes is itching, have to immediately go and clean your eyes with cold water. 
then what are the don'ts so you should not read in too dim or too bright light so it will affect your eyes so you should read it with proper light do not read in too dim or too bright light should not play video games or watch tv for long hours so your eyes will get spoiled in earlier age you will what you will put specs if your eyes is spoiled the retina will be spoiled so you should not play video games or watch tv for long hours should not rub your eyes with the fist should not rub your eyes if you are feeling your eyes is itching you should go and immediately wash your eyes with clean water clean and cold water so these help your eyes this all will protect your eyes if you if you follow all the steps your eyes will not be affected should read with proper light you should maintain a distance of 6 feet you should not rub your eyes instead you have to immediately wash then for long hours you should not play video games or watch tv i want to see here about the ears ear is used for us for hearing what it is and don't so dry your ears after taking bath so once you take in bath immediately you have to dry your ears cover your ears while swimming and bathing if you can you can cover your ears while swimming or taking bath so the water will not enter inside use ear plugs or ear muffs when you exposed to loud sound when you are going to a loud sound you, have, you can use ear plugs or ear muffs consult a doctor if you have pain in your ear if any pain is there in your ear you have to consult a doctor so what are the don'ts you have to avoid loud noise so that the ear drums will not be spoiled so you should avoid loud noise listen to music at higher volume when using earphones or headphones you should not listen to higher volume of music using a earphones or headphones it will affect your your drums clean ears with ear buds you should not clean ears with ear buds it will spoil your ears so these are the things you have to follow to take care of your ears you should not you should not loud voice you should not hear to a loud voice you should avoid loud voice loud noise you have to cover your ears while swimming and bathing if any pain is there you have to consult a doctor immediately you have to to not clean your ears with your butts can you see in this picture should not use ear butts the any sound over 85 db can be harmful to us we want to see nose nose is used for smelling so do not clean your nose by inserting any object into it if the nose is blocked due to cold it is better to use steam to clear it so instead of that you should not insert any object into it for cleaning your nose if it if the nose is blocked you can use steam to clear it do not pick your nose then the nose will be affected so do not clean your nose by inserting any object into it if it is blocked you can use steam to clear it do not pick your nose
Next, we're going to see about the tongue. Tongue is used for taste. We should clean our tongue daily with the tongue cleaner. So, we should, when you're brushing your teeth, you should clean your tongue as well with the tongue cleaner. While brushing our teeth, you can clean. A dirty tongue may cause disease and bad breath. So, if your tongue is not clean, all the particles, if it's stored in the trunk, will go into your stomach and it causes many disease. Even it causes you to breathing problem. So, bad breath. So, breathing problem may occur. So, you have to, while brushing, you have to even clean your tongue. Then we are going to see about the skin. Always use a mild soap. So, you should use only a mild soap so that it will not spoil your skin. Keep your skin dry and clean. So, always have to clean your skin and keep it dry. Dry your skin by rubbing gently with clean cloth. In a soft cloth, not a rough cloth. In a clean cloth, soft cloth, you have to rub your skin, dry your skin. Consult a doctor when you feel any itching, skin injury or infection. If any injury happens, if anything itching in your skin, you have to consult your doctor. So you can visit our school site www gkjainschool.origin and our Facebook page GK Jain School, Instagram GK Jain School, Twitter GK Jain School. The admission is going from pre-KG to 11th standard. You can contact the number 733-893-9363. Thank you students. Tomorrow I will see you in another session.